Non-stimulants have a role in the treatment of adults with ADHD. Among the non-stimulants, only atomoxetine is approved by the FDA for use in the treatment of ADHD in adults. Other agents such as bupropion, venlafaxine, dizipramine, and modafinil have some evidence of efficacy. Others, such as the alpha-2 agonists clonidine and guamfacine, have a paucity of research supporting their use, although they are shown to be effective in children and adolescents. For atomoxetine, it is a norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor. It is not a controlled drug under DEA standards. It has a low abuse potential. Of note, it is metabolized through the P450 system, specifically 2D6, so this should be taken into account with the use of other agents. Target dose for adults is between 80 and 100 milligrams a day. A meta-analysis of 12 RCT show decreased core ADHD symptoms and long-term treatment over placebo is supported in nine randomized clinical trials. In terms of adverse events for atomoxetine, GI side effects, dry mouth, insomnia, decreased appetite, constipation, decreased libido, urinary hesitancy, dizziness and sweating have been noted. Reports of prolonged QTC suggest that prescribers obtain electrocardiograms before starting atomoxetine in adults. There are also reports of hepatotoxicity, specifically two patients, which resulted in a black box warning. The other non-stimulant medications can be used as adjunct agents in individuals taking stimulants who do not reach full control of their symptoms and continue to have impairments, or can be given as monotherapy. However, indications are of lower effect sizes and lower levels of efficacy in these particular drugs. Key points in this section. Atomoxetine is the only FDA-approved non-stimulant medication for adult ADHD. However, fewer responders and less overall therapeutic effect than stimulants. Common side effects include dry mouth, insomnia, nausea, decreased appetite, constipation, decreased libido, erectile dysfunction, urinary hesitancy, dizziness and sweating. Less common or rare side effects include hepatotoxicity and prolonged QTC. Bupropion is effective and may be useful in patients with substance use disorder or depression. Alpha-2 agonists, clonidine and guamfacine, venlafaxine, modafinil are options, but less supported by randomized clinical trials. 